I believe that if the general public, especially the American public, had access to the information, this could spark a domestic debate on the role of the military and our foreign policy in general. I also believe the detailed analysis of the, of the data over a long period of time by different sectors of society might cause society to reevaluate the need or even the desire to engage in counterterrorism and counterinsurgency operations that ignore the complex dynamics of the people living in the affected environment every day. Ultimately, I felt that the right thing to do was to release the sales. I felt a sense of relief by them having it. I felt I had accomplished something that allowed me to, to have a clear conscience based upon what I had seen, read, and read, read about, and knew that were happening in both Iraq and Afghanistan every day. The video de depicted several individuals being engaged by, by an aerial weapons team. It was clear to me that the event happened because the aerial weapons team mistakenly identified various employees as a potential threat, and that the people in the Bongo truck were merely attempting to assist the wounded. The people in the van were not a threat, but merely good Samaritans. The most alarming aspect of the video to me, however, was the seemingly delightful bloodlust the air weapons they, had, they appeared to have. They dehumanized the individuals they were engaging, and seemed to not value human life by referring to them as, quote, dead bastards, unquote, and for and congratulating each other on the ability to kill in, a lot, in large numbers. The more I read, the more I was fascinated by the way we dealt with other nations and organizations. I also began to think they documented backdoor deals and seemingly criminal activity that didn't seem characteristic of the de facto leader of the free world. The more I read the cables, the more I came to the conclusion that this was the type of information that should be uh, that this type of information should become public. I once read and used a quote. Uh, on open diplomacy written after the First World War, and how the world would be a better place if states would avoid making secret pacts and deals with, with and against each other. I thought these cables were a prime example of the need for a more open diplomacy. I believe that if the general public, especially the American public, had access to the information, this could spark a domestic debate on the role of the military and our foreign policy in general. 